Hello everybody and welcome back to Modded Noita. We are here once again, getting ready to jump down into the mines and we have started with creatures become more aggressive towards each other, which could be quite fun to start with. We've got Swamp Potion, we've got Bombs, and we have ourselves a pretty good wand, Split a Bolt with Timer. So let's jump on in. Unfortunately, the last episode came to quite an abrupt end. Uh, we actually had probably one of the best perk setups in the game, in my opinion. We had, ooh, we got a broken wand straight off the bat here. But we had the setup where essentially um, we had perk lottery that was a guarantee to give us, um, to to not take away the other packs, we had two of them. I think that made it 75% pretty much, or maybe a little more than that. I'm not exactly sure where it settles, but very, very good setup. And we had more perks at the Holy Mountain. So we were just getting perks on perks on perks on perks. And then we had a Venomous Curse as well. And for those of you that don't know, the Venomous Curse it's one of the newer potion, uh, one of the newer spells, sorry, in the beta branch, and it's very, oh my god, what happened down here? <laughs> what unfolded here? My god. Okay, so creatures being more aggressive is clearly, clearly making them uh, kill each other quite a little bit more than normal. We just found an absolute treasure trove down there, that was insane. Okay, we got a wand over here already, that's great. Okay, that was that was kind of crazy. Um, do you know what? That's not a terrible wand. It is shuffle, unfortunately, which we, is not really what we want, but we can accept it for what it is. Froggy, please no. There you go. We got it. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> that water's all going to uh, evaporate there. That wood is set ablaze. But yeah, hopefully we can find another little treasure trove like that, because that was, that was kind of insane. I've never really messed around with this perk too much before, but it... It seems very good. Uh, one, one thing I'm very surprised to see is that creatures of their own species attack each other. I kind of expected that, like, the there would there wouldn't be fight there wouldn't be infighting. They wouldn't fight within their own species. They only fight other things. But that doesn't seem to be the case. We can get ourselves some extra money here by doing this. All of the gold just drops straight out of there. Uh, we could combine ones if we wanted to, but. Honestly, I don't really think we need to do that unless we get some more wands. But yeah, as you can see, just everything's killing each other. I'm going to go up and quickly grab this wand here. So we've got four for the next floor. And then we can head off. More bomb wands. Do you know what? More bombs is quite nice. We could stick that on our bomb wand. And be able to play around with that a little more. But yeah, this is 683. Oh god, that's lava. Uh, let's not. Let's not go into that, shall we? Let's, let's go back this way. Don't really want to get involved with lava. But yeah, creatures being more aggressive towards each other. Definitely not what I expected. I've never used this perk before in any serious capacity. I've taken it before, but I've never really paid attention. But it seems to be very, very influential on, um, on what the creatures behave like, which is great. Uh, so we've entered the Holy Mountain. Let's see what we can make here, see what we got. So we do have spells to start, which is good. Um, although the spells aren't particularly good. Let's, let's see what our perks are like first. Um, see what we got. We've got some good stuff here. We've got extra perk. we got honey blood. I think I'm going to take extra perk. Extra perk doesn't help us initially, but will help us in the future. I think we'll grab that. We'll grab that. Then let's do a reroll, shall we? Hmm. Nothing great here, to be honest. Energetic projectiles. I'll grab that as well. Um. Right, let, let's have a little look-see at this. Hmm. Let's, hmm, I'm trying to figure out what would be best for this. Maybe we go like this. It does use a little bit too much mana, to be honest, but I'll say something. It looks bloody amazing, and it does good damage, too. Um, so maybe what we'll do is we'll, um, oh, this is a sprinting bolt. Um, this isn't what I thought it was. Let's try that. Let's take off the energetic projectiles. Put that on there. Wait, what? No. Take that off. Oh, that's kind of cool. I kind of like that. Okay, let's go. Let's go with that. Then here, let's just stick a bunch of these on. And we can try that out. Yeah. That kind of works out, right? Let's give that a go. Also, we might as well combine these ones into each other and give ourselves a space to pick up another wand later on. This should be okay, though. It seems kind of interesting. I'm liking the idea of this sprinter bolt. 
I like these bolt style um, style projectiles from various add-ons. Seems like a really cool mod. I just wish it didn't place that gun in the middle of the egg. That confused the hell out of me and uh, sadly led to my demise. But it's all about learning in Noita. It's all about learning. You're going to make some mistakes. You're going to get bodied by a boss sometimes. At least now we know that that's a boss. Oh, you've killed yourself there, sir. That was a foolish, a foolish thing that you've done. Good. A little bit of fire on us here. That's okay. Trying to play this safe. We're doing good damage, though. What we got here. No black hole this time. Uh, we might be able to get a bomb in here, actually. Yep, we can. Good, good. Hopefully that'll kill the creature as well. Not quite. It gave us a potion. Let's see. Okay, good good damage. What potion did we get? A meager offering? Eh. It's kind of nice. I, I'm not going to use it a lot, but it allows us to turn dangerous things into rice, which is kind of okay, I guess. It allows us to add a bit of safety to our run. Okay, I, I did just realize that I was stood on top of a, a toxic barrel. Not the best idea. You have to hit this guy in the head to do damage, which makes it a little awkward, but we got him. Okay, let's quickly put out that. And, oh my god, I, I kind of love this. Enemies, if, if we get um, if we get the, the perk that makes gold never despawn, this could actually be a genuinely very good way to earn money because we're just going to let everything attack each other. If only I could uh, remember to watch my levitation meter. I'm not going to be able to get up there now. You fuck this, you stupid bat. We've got some healing there as well, nice. Healing's rare, but when we get it, I'm appreciative of it. Ow. Okay, can we get down here? I mean, let's do that first. Okay, so we can we can get down there. We just gotta play it right. I think it's just a health upgrade. I mean, last run as well, one, one thing that I didn't really talk about was just the sheer amount of health upgrades we got. I think we got around seven or eight by the end of the run, which is kind of unheard of in Noita. You very rarely get that many. Um, that's a mimic. I can tell because it's got liquid on it. You cheeky bastard. I'm not falling for you this time. I have fallen for them far too many times. But if they spawn in water, or if they've, they've led themselves astray and got in water, very easy to tell because normal chests can't get wet. <laughs> you can't actually stain. We got yet another uh, something down here. We got plenty of bombs though, so let's take our liberties and just go for it. This is another health upgrade, I'm fairly sure, so I'm willing to spend a few more bombs on it. Could be a chest as well. Nope, another health upgrade. Okay, good. Very glad I did that. Also, we've exposed some gold, which is nice. This guy's hitting me hard. Be careful. Okay, let's drop down here. We've actually uh, reached the exit already. Do you know what? We've got enough good stuff to just say, yeah, heck it, let's go. Uh, and now we've actually got some wands to buy as well. So first of all, let's check our perk. We've got extra perks, so we should get some good stuff here. Let's see. Um, ooh, we have explosion immunity or perk gamble. Let's take explosion immunity. We've taken perk gamble before and it has screwed us. So let's take explosion immunity. Um, and let's see what wands we have available for us here. Uh, nothing particularly amazing. Um, I'm not really seeing anything great here. Let's let's check. We got we got one no shuffle, and it's a pretty bad one. Let, let's let's give a reroll on these, shall we? we? We're looking for a really good no shuffle. That's okay, but the mana charge speed's pretty slow. We do have this with the always cast, but we can't quite afford that one. Uh, that one's a really good one as well, sadly. Um, this one is okay in terms of its perks, in terms of its spells, sorry, uh, but its recharge time's pretty bad. Oh, we got this one. I think we try and come back. We, we're, we're literally far off. I think we try and come back and get that one. Get that, that wand there. That one seems pretty good. We don't... Let, let's just make sure we don't need to do any uh, swapping of things, do we? We can just use that one as is. Um, eh, kind of. Kind of. I'm happy to take that one, though. We'll make our way back up here and uh, and grab that in just a moment. Literally, we need to kill one thing. Oh my god, that is a spicy start to, a, to an area. Please go away. Okay, we've got explosion immunity, which is nice. It's actually going to help with getting back in here. Apparently, this red aura 
actually damages you. I never knew about this, but for a short amount of time, you can see it's fading away now, but for a short amount of time after you uh, exit the Holy Mountain, it damages you. Uh, that was something that I found out recently, so thank you guys in the comments for letting me know about that. It's very useful information. There you go, we've cleared all this up, and now we can buy that wand. So, this wand obviously hasn't always cast as well. Uh, let's just grab that. Uh, but as you can see, the always cast, if we just drop the wand, let's say here. If we just drop that wand so we can check on that always cast. This always cast is cast a spell that reveals the area around the enemies it hits, which is pretty good, to be honest. Pretty good. Uh, of course, we're not going to end up using that wand for a little while here. Uh, but... Next floor especially, it'll it'll definitely become more prevalent and more useful. Uh, so far though, so good. Explosive immunity this early on is great. Uh, this guy's a bit of a nightmare. In fact, so much so. Like, I'm glad that this guy can like, hit me for big damage with his little eggs. Ooh, damn. He is, he is bleeding quite a lot of lava though. So I have to be very vigilant about that. Also, as you can see, these eggs can have their own perks. So, we got one there that's bleeding lava. The fact that we have explosion immunity here is the only reason I'm fighting this. If we didn't have explosion immunity, this guy would be way too hard. So, there's a lot of lava down here, so let's be careful. But there you go. Lots of gold off the bat there. All the way back up to 400. Um, we have tons of bombs here. Absolutely tons. So I'm willing to kind of shed them. I mean, I don't even need to step away apart from the fire, do I? Okay, that's more health upgrades. Yes, please. I don't know how I didn't manage to grab that. There, there you go. The more health we can get, the better. As you guys saw in the previous episode, it helped out a ton. Especially if we get, uh, like, some actual healing later on. Or if we get, like, honey blood or something. I know we gave that up already. Oh, we got a shop here. Um, we do have Brilliant Behemoth here, which is pretty good. Uh, Chaotic Burst is also interesting. Brilliant Behemoth, of course, from the Risk of Rain items, makes our projectiles explode on contact. It's pretty good. Really? That doesn't count as... What the hell is going on here? Oh, hello. Uh, let me take out this guy first. I can't believe that guy's projectile doesn't count as an explosive. Okay, so this guy could be quite problematic. He fires some pretty high damage projectiles. But, at the same time, they're pretty slow moving, so... We should have an okay time avoiding them. And this guy, I think, has low health, but... Yeah, there you go. Kind of a difficult enemy, though. Kind of like a mini-boss sort of thing. Get rid of that hand. Yeah, I, I like... Th these are the sort of enemies that I love seeing. Like, they just fit into the game so well. Get you. Really, sir? Really, sir? Come on now. <laughs> he was escaping everything I was throwing at him. You can hear that enemies are fighting again over here. Another wand is great for us here. Oh, he's picked up that wand. That's not good. I'm gonna say we we very much need that, sir. Um, I think we take it over that for now. We've already got a a pretty good bomb wand. Grab that. We got a lava, a lava mouse down here. Hello. I hear a Nuko over there. Oh, that's gone. I heard a Nuko over here. There you are. Oof. I will try to kill this guy, but do you know what? Actually, actually seeing this guy jetpack his way in, I'm a little less wanting. Okay, we got him. Ow. 33 damage. Whoa! That's all the snow. Okay, I think we ought to get out of here now. We ought to try and escape. But as you can see, some enemies rarely have jetpacks and can fly. And that's kind of nightmare fuel with some of the enemies. So, <laughs> see that guy hovering in. Okay, oh, that guy did stick me. You. Got you as well. Okay, good. We're up to a thousand gold here. Right, okay. Some good stuff here. So now we have a pretty effective digging wand here. Um, and this has let's just see what happens when we fire this thing. Is this is this a, a shuffle? It is, yeah. So So we got this. 
Cast all remaining spells in a circular pattern. Trigger on death. Cast a spell that casts another spell when it expires. I think we can take most of this off of here. I think what we do is we go take all of this off of there. Let's just do a hard reset on, on basically everything we have right now. So put that on there. That can go there. They can go here. That can go there. That can go there. Just hard reset on everything. And we'll mess around with some stuff, shall we? Put them there. And them there. Yeah, let's let's mess around with some stuff. Because we're, we're going to want to change stuff over. So first of all, I think we want this in position one. This is going to be our main wand. Then we probably want this one as our second. And then, yeah, them two can be interchanged. So what do we have here? We have... The Crescent Wave with Trigger, which sounds kind of interesting. I think we'll buy one of those. We have Consistent Combat. I don't know what that is, but I do want it. Let's see, what, what, what we got here? I think we take Plague of Rats. Uh, let's, let's see what the Consistent Combat thing does. Um, all stats up slightly, but nullifies the chance to land a natural critical hit. Okay, that's kind of interesting. So we can't get crits anymore, which is kind of fine. But that's that that's that's really good actually. That's really good. So we'll we'll plop that on there. Let's see what this does. That um cause causes a spell cast on hitting a target. Let's let's give that a go. Whoa, that's so cool. Okay, I can get behind that. Um, we could. Oh, we can't. We can't quite afford it. I'd love to buy this because casting that on on their uh, hit would be really cool. Well, let's see. Let's see how this works. Eh, not great. Not great. I will say. Um. The Death Cross would be really cool. Plasma Beam Cross. I think we go and save up for some stuff. So let's let's just quickly slap a bunch of these bombs on this wand here. Um, and slap these on this wand here. For digging. And then this one, I guess we can leave it like that for now. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, let, let's let's be on our way. We'll, we'll, we'll try and come back in here and get some stuff later. Mess around with some stuff in a little bit. Remember about the aura. Hello. This is a really cool uh, spell. This is why I was saying about various add-ons. It seems to add some really like unique and cool um, new actual spells. A lot of the other mods seem to just add spell modifiers. But this one's adding a lot of new spells as well. I mean, some of them do add new spells, but not a lot. And they're not very good, to be honest. Like, some of them are, but a lot of them aren't. Okay, so these guys are, are fighting up a storm over here, which is really good for us. I mean, we're not going to be able to get in there and get much of the uh, much of the rewards. That's a big worm. Okay, let's stay the hell away from that big worm, shall we? I just wanted to get as much gold as I could there. Right. So we got we got to remember there is a massive worm that's scooting around this area. Make our way back over here. We've got plenty of bombs, so we can get through. We don't need to get out of the way because we've got explosion immunity. Don't have to worry about that anymore, which is great. Okay, good, good. I do have to worry about the fire, though. Um, and yeah, I'm going to grab Death Cross here. I mean, this would be good, but I'm going to grab Death Cross because I have kind of an idea. Even though Death Cross is pretty pricey. This could be an interesting wand. I think Death Cross on trigger could be pretty fun. So I just want to give it a go. See what it see what it ends up like. But yes, we gotta be very aware of this big old worm. Got you. Okay, leave that up there. Ooh, that's a hidden one there. Look at that. That's a bit cheeky. Right, so where did this worm retreat to? Also, remember, we have a broken wand. Apparently, it's always in the bottom right. I just missed it last time. So let's go and try and find that, shall we? Good. Okay, actually having these enemies fight is so nice. I need to take this perk more often. It just it gives me a lot more liberties to kind of do what I want. And, like, 
have enemies already be dead when I arrive. This also is a really good spell. I don't know if the um, if the, the the cutter is actually making any difference, but it feels like it is. I think that's acid there, isn't it? Yes, it is acid. Okay. A lot of enemies like standing in the acid for some reason. I'm not quite sure why that is, but a lot of enemies like standing in the acid. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure how much the luminous drill is affecting this, but I don't know. It seems okay. Could cut through there real quick. Yeah, this just seems like I don't know if it's the um, the consistent combat thing that's doing this, but just see, it just seems very consistent damage. you out. You did not get killed by that like I was expecting you to, to be honest, which is kind of annoying. Good. What we got over here? Is this a wand or a health upgrade? This is a wand. Bullet with trigger. Ramping fire. Rate of fire increases with each consecutive shot fired. Yeah, we'll take that for now. That's, that looks good to me. And we'll keep on heading this way. Yeah, you see that? Look, that's just consistent damage, that is. Okay, then we can use this to dig through the snow. I love having one of these ones. The digging power of these things is so good. Okay. Got to wait for my... The, the only problem with this at the minute is if we could get an add mana on it, it would be it would be a lot better. It's, it's mana drain is, is quite high at the moment. Okay, that electrified guy had to go. Right, so this is sort of the area that we're going to be looking. There it is. There it is. Awesome. Right, we got Disco Emitter. Wow, that's a really good wand, but it is Shuffle. Uh, but that's that's a very good wand in itself. Um, I think we take it over this digging wand as much as I like it. I think that's the best option. We don't have a lot of money right now either, so that'd be nice. So what, what does this do? It fires off Magic Bolt with Regenerative Power. So we can create a circle of healing that we can't heal ourselves with. Oh my fucking life! What the fuck? <laughs> That's so cool. Okay, Disco Emitter is um is pretty strong. It's pretty strong, people. Okay, the bullet thing seems pretty good, but it's a lot of mana drain. Ow. Ow. Wait, what? Did that, that, that guy just fire a bomb at me? I didn't know they did that. I did not know they did that. Okay, keep going. Keep her going. Drop a bomb down here. I'm sorry, rat. You shall be my willing sacrifice. Uh, cocktails down there? Ne never even seen those before. Good. Seems like we've got a few buddies in here. Wow, they are. They are really locked in there, aren't they? We can probably try and... Wait a minute. Can we get in there? I don't think we can. I don't think there's any way we can get in there. I was hoping we could, but it doesn't look likely. I kind of need some more money before we head off, really. We've not got enough, which is why I wanted to get in there. Um. Yeah, I don't think we can get in there. Like, we can get from this, but then, like, we need a luminous drill. But the one that we've got currently isn't really super reliable for... Uh, dealing damage, is it? Hello, worm. Oh, God. I just set all those cocktails on fire. I think those are the guys that are throwing the cocktails. I think that's where they're coming from. Yeah, the visual effects on this thing are so cool. Right, what wand is this? Not very good, unfortunately. We're getting a lot of non-shuffle ones, which is just a bit of a shame, because they're, they're just nowhere near as good. Oh, uh, sorry, of shuffle ones. The non-shuffle ones are just far better. It's rats v rats there. What we got here? Oh, shit. I'm so glad I have explosion immunity there, because I do not know what exploded them. I have absolutely no idea. Good. Good. The, the, the rats are really helping out at the moment. Ow. Okay, I haven't blocked. That counts as an explosion as well. Good to know. 
Okay, 45 health. We're getting into the realms of really wanting to get out of here. We're up to 1,000 gold anyway, so we're pretty much ready to do so. Wow. I just exploded a lot of stuff. So we'll drop a bomb here. And we'll get going. Quickly grab you. A little bit of extra gold. And here we go. Ready to go. Bit spicy. But overall, not bad. Right. So. Ah, oh, for God's sake. <laughs> you know what that means. You know what that means. Okay, let's stay here for as long as we can and hope he doesn't come for us. Take all- Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, this is what's done it, look. These bloody ship eggs. Go away. No. Get out of here. Ow. Ow. It doesn't even hurt. It just keeps knocking me back. Okay, get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. My friend. The person that caused this pain. No, no, not me. Not me. Don't get me. Ah, you bastard. I gotta get out of here. No, no, no. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Fucking get out of here. Oh my god. I would have liked to have edited my wands, but... Oh, for God's sake, he's made his way down here. You shitbag, why? Go away. And then we got this guy here as well. I'm on eight health. It's just not, yeah. Damn it. Ugh, the worms breaking through. Damn, it's so annoying when you just can't avoid that. Either way, that was a pretty fun, <laughs> that was a pretty fun run. Oh my God. <sighs> that was a pretty fun one, my God. <laughs> I hope you guys did enjoy nonetheless. A little bit of a shorter one this time, but I think if we do another one, it might end up running a little bit too long. And a death to Steve is a good stopping point nonetheless. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.